Oh, hey guys. Just throwing it back to my gymnastics days, doing a little stretch here. <laughs> okay, um, today I'm going to show you an alternative calf release technique using a softball instead of a foam roller. And we have a few different techniques using a foam roller. I've shown you how to use a rolling pin, um, and we'll link to those uh, in the description below. But I wanted to give this as an alternative for some of you because depending on the shape of your calf, um, this might actually be a better, aka more effective route for you to go, um, specifically for the outer part of the calf right here. So this is where I get really tight in my calves and this outer meaty stuff right here, it, when it's in a knot, is definitely gonna, um, it can cause knee pain, it can cause um, maybe even flat feet um, if it gets into that perineal fascia. Um, it can pull on the ankle and cause um, maybe some plantar fasciitis down there. Um, so I have been using a softball lately to release my giant adhesed calves, because I have really big calves um, from my gymnastics days, I guess. Um, and I'm loving it. I actually really like the softball and probably better right now for me than a foam roller. So I was like, huh, who knew? Um, so I wanted to give this as an option for those of you as well who maybe are shaped a little bit more like me. So have pretty big calves. If you have really small calves, I, you know, maybe this will work for you. Um, you'll have to just try it and see. But if you're new to this channel and you just found me, um, maybe searching for something like plantar fasciitis or knee pain relief, and you are landing on this video, um, just know that you could try the softball one if you have one handy. But if you don't and you have a foam roller, then check the links below and give them all a try and find out what works for you. But I just want to give you as many options as I can. So um, the reason I like the softball for this outer stuff right here is I can kind of maneuver around the ball better than a foam roller. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to do this using my right leg. You can of course do it on either or both, um, but I'm gonna usually start on this outer edge. I might see if there's anything on the inside of the calf, but um, this technique is best for this outer stuff. So I want to start really high. And that's another reason I like the softball here is I can kind of get close to the back of the knee um, and maneuver around it. And there we go. There's a clunk. So that's about as high as I can get towards my knee. But I get a really nice clunk there. I could not do that on a foam roller. The foam roller is just a little too big, a little too high, a little too wide, and I can't maneuver around it. Now, I don't feel a lot of sensation with this, so I might go, huh, okay, I'm gonna move on to a little bit lower, and I'm always looking to check what's maybe a quarter of an inch lower or higher or left or right, because you could be off by just a quarter of an inch and miss the best spot <laughs> to release. So when you're trying this, try to move only, you know, a quarter of an inch at a time at first until you get to know your body and then you'll kind of know exactly where to go. But you'll see I'm just kind of um, slowly rotating over the ball. And what I'm trying to actually do is really pin that calf fascia, like anchor it on the ball and pin it between the ball and my bones here. Um, and then use some rotation to shear those fascial fibers perpendicular to the way they run up and down. Um, and I'll move down a little bit. I'm not gonna show you the whole calf, but you kind of get the idea. So that's for the outer edge. Now, if you wanted to check a bit more in the middle, you could, like I said, but you'll notice if I go too far this way, I'm gonna start kind of sliding off the ball um, or it'll just jam my calf tissue on the inside into my tibia here. Um, so the foam roller might be a better option, but I'm gonna try some foot movements on this one, maybe pointing and flexing. I have a little feather here. <laughs> um, so yeah, pointing and flexing. Now I don't feel a whole lot there. I'm gonna move down. It doesn't mean there's anything there. So I don't want you to think if this is your first time releasing your calf, like the way I teach it, I don't want you to assume there's nothing there if you don't feel it on the softball here, because you might go to a foam roller and feel it there. But 
now when we get lower here is where I tend to kind of find something um, on the softball as well. But I've been releasing my calves lately and they're getting better. <laughs> um, so I like kind of bending and straightening my knee here. And again, this is where the, the softball comes in handy because I can kind of stay pinned on it down here um, and then straighten. And we're getting a little bit of a clunk there in that low calf Achilles fascia. Um, so I like that. You could try drawing circles with your toes. That got a, like, a little clunk. Um, but again, just a reminder, you don't want to move like really rapidly um, and you don't necessarily want to just roll on it if you're trying to hunt out those dense fascial restrictions or adhesions, um, pin it between the ball and your bones, and then use movement, slow, deliberate movement to shear those fascial fibers. Now, on me, what actually gets it a lot better than the pointing, flexing, and circles on the softball here is to really kind of jam that tissue gently, but still really trying to compress it to that ball, and then rolling. So, um, I found some really good stuff right there. <laughs> So it's kind of just above my Achilles, um, and I'm kind of grabbing it, pinning it, and then shearing it. And then I roll it back, grab it, pin it, shear it. So I can do that all the way down my calf. I get double clunks on my left calf. Uh, so you might find that uh, one side is a lot tighter on you, similar to me. Um, you'll always want to do your tighter side more if you're kind of looking to just optimize your fascia and get healthier, fascially speaking. Um, and if you're, you know, problem solving an injury or pain issue, like I mentioned knee pain maybe, then you'll still want to check your other side because I don't want you to, you know, um, destabilize yourself through only doing fascia release on your injured side. You want to check the other side because sometimes surprises occur and you might be tighter on the side where you actually feel no pain. You never know. So if it hurts a lot or it's really adhesed, then you have some work to do there. Um, but give that a try and let me know how it goes. I really am loving the softball right now. These are pretty cheap. I think like six bucks maybe. Um, don't need anything fancy, but I love the softball size and these little um, stitches here actually make it a bit grippy um, where my tissue is gonna end up hitting one of those or my clothing and I'll stick to the ball. It's also a little sticky. So I love balls that have a little grip to them and they're not slick and smooth um, or mobility tools in general. That way you can really stick to it and get that pin and shearing effect that I'm always trying to teach you to do. All right, so give it a try. Let me know how it goes in the comments below. If you're new here, then hit that subscribe button. I have new videos going out every single week and I'd love to have you join my email community or my Facebook group because I share tips and um, stories I don't share anywhere else there. You can also grab some free resources and tools that will help you uh, live your best life and feel good in your body by clicking the link below um, this video in the description. You can get that today and I'd love to see you in my Facebook group or email community. All right guys, I'll see you next time.